What's up, everybody? Let's do this. First thing first, the name L U I. Okay. Secondly, the game. It is the very game of bodybuilding. Thirdly, thirdly, the subject of this video, a true forgotten giant out from Switzerland in his home fang language, La Suisse. This guy is Jean Pierre Fuchs. He was an immense giant coming from nowhere. First, bursted into the scene in 1996 thanks to mr ben weeder back in the day they used to have what they call the invitational uh, guys in in uh, in the ifbb mr olympia they invite somebody every once in a while and they invited this guy in 1996 to box with uh, the pros he was a masterpiece not complete as of yet but he was bigger than Dorian Yates, the written Mr. Olympia, heavier than him. Guess what? He had some crazy features as well. He became a sensation right away. And look at his back. That's why they brought him. May he rest in peace, Mike Matarazzo. He stated everybody is attacking Dorian Yates from the front. And Jean-Pierre Fix is tackling him from the back. His back, he had. He was massive he was thick and even the front lats were an absolute sight uh, to be seen this is him in 1997 though he was boxing versus chris uh, cormier and uh, kevin levroni i mean look at him next to ronnie coleman back then ronnie was small he was still small right i mean look at him wow he was bigger heavier uh, than uh, the an upcoming eight time mr olympia in a row right and look at him this is uh the last olympia of dorian yates 1997 which was won by dorian and at that precise moment if i do recall in in flex magazine they said this guy meaning jean-pierre fuchs is the next sandow they were deeming this this guy to be the next sandow i mean look at him from uh, the back this is mike francois or francois jean-pierre uh, fuchs and the future Mr. Olympia here, Ronnie Coleman, because as you guys know, in 98, Ronnie Coleman uh, took the crown. But at that time, Jean-Pierre Fuchs was the biggest prospect. He was absolutely ushered by a lot of guys to be the next one. Furthermore, he was ushered as having one of the best backs ever. This comparison, they gave him the seventh best uh, back of all time. Uh, number eight, they gave it to Samir Banu. If I do recall, in this comparison, the first back, it's always between Ronnie Coleman and Dorian Yates, as you guys know, one uh, and two, and then they proceed with the other. So this is a, a highly, highly, uh, I mean, tuned classification. Proceed, shall we, and shall we, do we? There we go. So this is him next to Dorian. He was bigger than Dorian. I mean, the weight, a lot of people were hyped by the the advent of this giant era the big fauna this guy was heavier than nasser el somebody than dorian yates and even then paul the lead and nasser el somebody he trained with him and he became kind of special he gained even more you know this was in the u.s he moved from switzerland europe to the u.s and gains did occur he was rolling with the big thick guys he developed that grainy granity look he did not have in 96 96 had that he was big but he had that polish european look in a sense not hard you don't see the, the grainy kind of things that nasser brought but he got it here unfortunately it came with a controversy specifically by this picture which a lot of people think are one of the most known bubble gut pictures right uh, granted it was in a video this was him with uh, may he rest in peace Nasser El Sambari but his gut has grown tremendously that is to be noted proceed shall we mm -hmm. this is the tragedy this is the tragedy why his career was abruptly stopped in a very catastrophic way this was for a photo shoot for god's sake photo shoot and until this day I don't know and people don't know if the plates were uh, you know were real plates or not because as you guys know for exhibition and photo shoots a lot of pros a lot of pros use fake weights right just to have you know a proper picture you, you going down in that squat you don't want you know the way to be real because the gentleman who's basically taking the shots he needs to take multiple shots slowly in the whole range of motion 
And this was taken. I mean, that is a photo shoot of the whole range of motion when you see him go down, uh, getting hurt like this. It was devastating. Both legs got injured. One was completely torn when it comes to the muscle, the quad quadriceps, and the other, the knee was damaged. It was a bone damage, severe one. Look at him here. This was in French here. Uh, he said in French that it was uh, uh, Laton Jean-Pierre uh, Jean-Paul. Well, they were uh, calling him Jean-Paul. His name is Jean-Pierre. Jean-Pierre, à ton l'aide médicale, uh, ignorant encore la gravité de ses blessures. He's waiting for medical help while he does not even know the severity of his injuries. Baby, please. Mm -hmm. uh, it was nothing for the weak-hearted indeed. As I said, uh, this leg, the muscle was torn completely. And the other one, the the whole joint was damaged in a in a severe severe way, and he had a tremendous pain. He spoke about it, in uh, you know in the magazine back then. Here you can see, uh, GP, uh, in severe pain right after the ambulance uh, arrived. Right now, granted, he started to try to come back a few months after. He said the show must go on, or as you guys can read here. I'll read to you in French. Jean-Pierre Fuchs, déchirure du quadriceps gauche, déchirure du ligament rotulien droit, a subi une double opération en jambe en mai. Il dit, dans mon fauteuil roulant ou sur mon euh, déambulateur, je continue à travailler le haut du corps. Bientôt les médecins pourront faire un meilleur pronostic du ligament qui a été réparé. Ils m'ont dit que la cuisse gauche devrait guérir complètement. À ce jour, tout se passe bien. Now, he says that the doctors are still doing the uh, the evaluation actually to 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 see if I can come back fully. Uh, the doctor said that the quadriceps should recover fully actually, whereas uh, when it comes to the uh, the joint, it is still under speculation. I'm waiting for the doctor's call. So he tried to come back. Don't get it twisted. The picture right here was prior to the injury. He has some tremendous legs. He gained muscle since he joined the US. But unfortunately, that never happened. He never came back. The injury was too severe. It happened to a lot of guys. He's not the first one. But you can't come back from that. I mean, at the high level, you cannot do those crazy squats again to develop this, this mass. And unfortunately, he he retired mostly due to this injury. This is the last picture that service of him, one of the last at least, right? You guys can uh, see that uh, pretty much he's no longer the big uh, man. That means he's no longer in the business. He definitely lost a lot of mass, but he is still to be saluted as one of the greatest prospects who almost touched the very Sandow and then unfortunately dra uh, I mean drama happened and it never occurred this is his back uh, they gave him number seven i personally give him higher than that he's definitely in the top five right there i mean this guy with, with all honesty he's he's better than a lot of guys that they put in the top five right he is just thick it's complete the back is a sight to be seen that's what's up salute you mr jean-pierre fuchs god bless you you gave us good memory you were one of the very uh, i mean first muscle fauna of the 90s baby please and the last video the last picture rather is with kevin levroni front last bread that's what's up this era is gone but i still salute it don't forget to like the video god bless you all all day and daily breath